What is going on, all you beautiful people? Brandon BK Kessler here, Instagram BK Cabo, YouTube BK Cabo, Facebook forward slash MMA, I think. We got Lola in the house. Hola, baby. And we have my jealous baby here. Oh, she's so mean. My jealous baby. She's, she's, she's got some issues. She's, she's got some issues. She's got some issues. So that's. Be honest, but uh, you know we gotta accept people for who they are. Bella, tranquila. And, uh, <laughs> but this one is so sweet, yes, Lolita. Okay, you guys go have a fight, dog fight. Okay, so I'm gonna jump in here, and so this video is going to be Bella, tranquila. Um, so this video is going to be about properties starting at 1 million we're going to go all the way up to 25 million dollars so we're going to go like 1 million 2 million 3 million 4 million we're going to go all the way up to 25 i don't know how high we're going to go but we're going to go as high as the market goes here in cabo and i think it's going to be a cool video so you can really kind of understand the market and uh get an idea you know just for what you know different price points all right so let's jump right into this. Uh, we're gonna go into this number one here. This house was very cool because it is out towards Toro Santos, uh, not quite in Toro Santos, but in, where is it at? Uh, Cerritos, I think, let me see. So, yeah, in Cerritos Beach, uh, Rancho Nuevo. This house was cool because it's it's really off grid living. Let me open this up so we can take a look at it. And you know, right over a million bucks, one point three. I thought this house was so cool. My friend actually sent this to me um, because I had another client looking for some off grid living, and I thought, wow, this really would fit what they were looking for. So we'll see uh, what they say on that. But I mean, what a cool house. And if we look at the, there's another picture here that kind of shows the, how it's away from here. Here it is. You can see it's really isolated and look at the, the, the piece of land that you get. I mean, that's, that's absolutely magnificent. Completely walled off. I mean, very cool. Very, very cool. All right, let's jump back here. Moving along right here. So this house, I believe, is in Rancho San Lucas. 1.7 million Rancho Villa 68. Uh, I actually just uh, sold a property out there. Let's open this up so we can see. And this house is finished, I believe. Mm -mm. Oh, this is pre-construction. Okay. This is pre-construction, 1.7 million. Total square foot, uh, 4,100. And AC square feet, uh, 3,000. So this is a big property. Uh, let's open it up and take a scroll through. If you know Rancho, then you're getting access to Grand Salmar and uh, all those amenities that they have out there as well. Which is, which is very nice. It's a um, little more uh, exclusive, I would say. Um, maybe twenty minute drive into town, into Cabo San Lucas. But very nice, very high end, and uh, the community is 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 still a little bit. You know, they're still building a lot, but as soon as it's finished, I mean, the property values on these are really going to skyrocket as well. All right, let's keep moving here. So, what's this one here? This is in Viamonte. So, this is right before Rancho San Lucas. And let's look at this property here. This also is pre construction 1.85 total square foot, uh, 3,700 and AC. 2,600, so actually quite a bit smaller than the Rancho property. Let's open it up here. Maybe I can make myself a little smaller. Let's scroll through here. 
It comes with a little girl in a bikini. And of course you have the beautiful golf course out here as well. Rancho, the listing before also has a nice golf course. It's funny because I'm always hearing people argue about which is the nicest golf course, whether it's Rancho, whether it's Diamante, whether it's Quivira, whether it's, um, what's the other one? Uh, we'll get to that. We will get to that. Uh, having a little brain fart. It's Sunday. Did play a little bit of poker last night. Won a little bit of money. Oh, oops, what did I do? Did I mess that up? All right, let's move along here. We were at Diamante. Here we go into Pedregal. So this is 1.9 million. So if you know Pedregal, I mean, it's known for having very nice houses. Um, it doesn't have the community that you would have in Quivira or Rancho or Diamante. They're, they don't have the um, as much amenities for, for everyone to go to, like big pools and things like that. This also is, is pre-construction. So, but this is huge, almost 7,000 square feet and 4,000, almost 4,800 AC square feet. So extremely big. And that's the cool thing about Pedregal is uh, they do have some really cool properties over there. Again, this is pre-construction. Really cool view. Looks like somebody's building right next to it as well. Very cool. All right. Let's move along here. Okay, here we go. This is uh, Alvar. This is one of my favorite new properties here in Kivira. Uh, let right under 2 million, Tower 5, fifth floor, three bedroom luxury condo. These are going to be cool. So you are in Kivira. Everybody who knows me knows this is one of my favorite communities because you do get access to everything you get access to sunset Polo Benito sunset Polo Benito Rose Monte Cristo uh, all the resorts on the Sea of Cortez side Blanco and Rose and um, yeah you just you get access to so many things that you never get bored you're also right in the Quivira golf course which arguably is one of the most beautiful golf golf golf, golf courses in the world I mean, it's very Instagram friendly, if you will. And these are going to be really cool. These pictures are not doing the justice, though. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, you've got uh, Copala back behind here. And then you've got Alvar here. Got the golf course right in front. So you're going to be right next to the Kivira golf course. Really cool. I really like this project just because, you know, uh, I mean, everything here in Kivira is, is done right. And, and you know, you're not going to ever have any sort of issues. The water here is excellent. Never have water issues or power issues, things like that. All righty. Let's move down here to Vista Azul 9. This is a four bedroom, 5,400, almost 5,500 square feet, 2,500,000. Looks very cool. Let's scroll out on the map and see kind of where this is. This is um, right past El Tuli. Let's open this up. Let's look at the details first, I guess. Stunning four bedroom, four bath, custom home located in the upscale gated community of Cabo del Sol. Let's move down a little bit here. General amenities. This house is completed. It means it's ready to go, ready to move in. 2,500,000. Again, total square feet, 5,500. 
in AC square feet, 4,750. Four beds, four baths, right on the, the golf course. I'm not sure what golf course this is. Um, it says here. I have to look. All right, let's open this up and take a peek because this house looked really cool when I was looking at it before. I mean, what a cool layout. Are you kidding me? I love that. I mean, I love how the doors open up all the way on both sides there. That's awesome. Very cool. This might be my favorite one so far. Wow. Really cool. What the heck do the windows go? Oh, it's, it must go into the walls or something. It's crazy. Very cool. Wow, this is a cool house. Okay, let's move on here. It's going to be a long video if I'm only here. Okie dokie. I have to make this into two parts. Let's see here. Waldorf, uh, Astoria, Los Cabos, Pedrida. So 2.85. And we're back in, we're back in Pedro. Yeah. But it's showing, I don't know if their map is wrong. Uh, three bedrooms, almost 6,000 full total square feet. Moving along. This is completed. So AC square feet, 3,500. And 2019 was built. This is seven luxury hillside private homes are now offering for sale at Waldorf, Astoria, Los Cabos, Pedregal. Recently recognized as the number one best resort hotel in Mexico in the 2022 Travel Leisure World's Best Awards. That sounds pretty good. Let's open this up and take a peek. Very cool. What a view, huh? Really magnificent. Looks just very high end for this price. I'm gonna have to go check this one out in person. Very cool. Guys, you know, if you guys wanna see any of these properties, you can always uh, email me, brandon at cobblecribs.com. Or WhatsApp me, uh, USA 360-442-9701. That's always the best. Uh, Instagram, BK Cabo, YouTube, BK Cabo. Uh, where were we at here? Uh -huh. Okay, we're in Coronado here. Coronado houses are, are nice. I mean, look at this, 10,000. 600 square feet. I mean, geez, these are ginormous. Ginormous. These are going to be located basically in or are located in front of Alvar, right to the side of Copala in Cuvira. And very cool. Honestly, I prefer. Or I would prefer Alvar to these, just like the style a little bit better, but depends on your your preference, things like that. All right, moving along. Again, this also gives you access to everything in Kivira. I wish that it didn't. Okay, 
This is El Parque Magnifico. Magnifico. Uh, this property, actually, I know the developer and it is going to be magnificent. Hence the name, 10,700 square feet, four bedroom. I mean, the, uh, the renders do not do the justice. And so this property is going to be ridiculous. Again, I know the developer and the way that he does things is above, you, you know, you have a high level and then you have a high level. And that's where this developer is. I mean, he's extremely picky on the way he does things. Um, Going to be an excellent property. And that, let's look, oops, let's look back. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. What did I do? Let's go back here. And so this is about nine months out, I believe. So welcome to the new luxury dream home. Construction is well underway in this custom built single home, contemporary style home, which boosts spectacular, unobstructed ocean views and fairway views surrounded by the world renowned Tom Fazio private golf course and oh, enter, entertain dream with it. Ex expensive. What is that? Expansive? Expansive indoor and outdoor living, gourmet chef kitchen, furnishings top of the line, finishings. Uh, water featuring fabulous heat, heated pool and spa, outdoor grilling area. The skylights are in the living area, creating a light and airy ambiance. Owners at Carencia enjoy luxury amenities. Actually, the amenities out here I have are the highest I have ever seen in all of Cabo. Actually, they make Kiviera look, <laughs> look bad, almost. Not bad, but... but I mean, so you have like the rest areas at the golf course here at um, Carencia, and it's like little miniature Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like you walk in, there's nobody in there. You just help yourself to whatever beer you want, whatever candy you want, like complete air conditioning. Like it's, it is the highest, um, I guess the highest uh, level that I've seen here in, here in Cabo. So I think it's one of the most exclusive areas, Carencia. Um, very nice. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't been out there. But And I've also heard that people say that that's one of the top golf courses in the world. So again, don't quote me on any of that. I don't know. Everybody, I've heard so many different things where people will say this golf course, that golf course. But it was extremely nice. Um, I'm not the best golfer, so I can't say for sure. All right, moving along here. This is, uh, let's see here. Uh, eight beds, 16,000 square feet for 3,900,000. This is gigantic. This is pre-construction as well. Let's look at the AC square feet. AC square feet, almost 9,000 square feet. Uh, subdivision, marina side. This is back in Pedregal. I mean, it's going to be, I wonder when it's going to be built, doesn't say. Uh, doo -doo. Looks ginormous. Let's, let's open this up and take a peek. Again, Pedregal always making really cool houses out there. That's why so many people love it. Again, it doesn't have like the uh, amenities for everybody to share, but the houses are ridiculous. So kind of depends what you like. If you like more of a private secl secluded kind of area or exclusive area, then Pedregal is kind of for you. I mean, if you want to be more in a community and something like Kivira, Rancho, Diamante, um, Carencia, something like that might be better. That was cool. Super cool. This is like a 
something that you would rent out on Airbnb for weddings, things like that, with that kind of, with that many bedrooms, I mean, it would be perfect. All right, let's move along here. Do, 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 where was I at? Mm -hmm. I'm messing this up. Um, okay, right here, San Jose, four bedroom, um, 7,400 7, square feet. Four million one hundred thousand. Let's look at this here. This is also pre-construction. Pre-construction with. Qué pasa? Todo bien? Hola. Okay. Okay. Let me see here. What was I looking at here? I was not sure the total square feet. Uh, total square feet, uh, no, AC square feet, 5,600. So very big. Let's open her up. Check this out. And see, these are renders. They look really good. I love when, when, when uh, people have really nice renders versus the ones that it looks real almost. I don't know if that's real. Mm -hmm. Renders are so good. All right, let's move along. All right, we're back in El Parque, Carencia. And this is a four bed, almost 10,000 total square feet, 4 million. $275,000, the largest residence in El Parque area. This spectacular custom home is designed with four bedrooms and the master bedroom has a full bathtub, outdoor shower and large walk-in closet. Three secondary bedrooms with full bath and closet. This property includes living area, dining room, large kitchen, it includes everything you need to be a boss. Let's be honest. Come on. All right. Pre-construction. Again, total square feet, 9,600 AC square feet, 6,000. And pretty cool. Let's open this up. Most of the, seems like most of the houses in Carencia are single level. Now, I don't know if that is. Oh, that's very cool looking. Very nice. Almost looks like they. Huh. This is odd. What is this? I have to go back and check this out. I don't know if this is part of the condos that they're building out there, but it looks, I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out. That might be, I know they're building some condos out there, but I didn't think there'd be that much. I don't think that's correct. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, move along here. Mm. Oh, here we go. St. Regis. Okay. This is the other new community in Kivira. Super cool. Via de Larry, 405 St. Regis. And let's go down. This is also pre-construction. A rare opportunity to purchase a turnkey Ocean View residence with a five-star flag in Los Cabos. Um, again, this is gonna be pre-construction. 4,350,000 buckaroos. Gonna have a view of the Kivira Golf Course. Total square feet, 4,390 AC, 3,300. So quite a bit smaller for the price range. I mean, they are definitely uh, 
you know, putting their, this is going to be very high end. So you're getting a smaller uh, property, but extremely high end. And St. Regis, of course, has a, has an awesome name. Very cool. Wish the render showed a little more, but all right, let's move along here. Might have to change this video to up to 10 million. Might be a little too long here. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Six bedrooms. Uh, well, let's start at the top here. Cameo. Camino, Camino del Mar, La Casa Roca, La Casa Roca, uh, seis, seis habitaciones, six beds, 10,000, almost 11,000 total square feet, uh, $5,399,000. Let's scroll down here. Maybe you want that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, total total square feet ten, almost eleven thousand. AC square feet almost eight thousand. Uh, in Pedregal, so back in Pedregal, where you know they build. This was built in two thousand two, so a bit of an older house. And let's take a look at this. This could be really cool. Oh, and it is. I love the little bit older style, the real kind of Mexican style houses. I mean, I don't know. It's tough. I like the modern style as well, too. But the Mexico style, you know, there's something to be said about that. Really, when you're in Mexico, Mexico style house. How cool is that? Looks like a hotel. Wow, this is cool. Very cool. Super classy. I love it. Absolutely love the big open, big open doors with the big uh, oval window on the top. Oh, how cool is that? That is awesome. The big balcony. That is sick. Look at that kitchen. Kidding me? I love this style. This is like some, some Scarface type style. <laughs> Modern scarf stuck Scarface. Oh, so cool. Love it. Look at the bed posts on that. Are you kidding me? I was touching the ceiling. Wow, what a view. Go back to that. That's cool. That is cool. All right, let's go move on. Let's stare at this one all day long. All righty. Move that one here. That was really cool. Yeah, Pedregal hat does have some super cool houses. Okay. Fresco, dos kilometers. Okay, I don't know. It's a weird name. Chilano Bay. So we're in Chilano Bay, right? Um, general description completed 5,500,000. Total square feet, uh, 4,000 4, and AC, 3,000. So quite a bit smaller. Year built 2016. Fantastic first floor villa with private swimming pool in the exclusive Chileno Bay Resort residence, uh, residencias, community, four bedroom, 4.5 baths with one master set up as a spare lock off. Oh. All right. Please note memberships to Chileno Bay and golf and beach club are not available with this villa. All right. Well. That's not cool. 
so much smaller than everything else. Um, obviously, I guess it's the the area. You know, Chileno Bay is is known as a very high end area, but I always wonder why. Okay, you've got a five million dollar house. Why do you have? Looks like a picture with an iPhone. It's weird. I'll never understand that. <clears throat> I mean, also it looks like it was taken with an iPhone. Strange, strange, strange. Okay, let's move on. Do do. Okay. In Cabo, Colorado, San Jose, six beds, 10,000 square feet, 10,400 uh, total square feet, 5,900,000. Let's look at the general description here. Completed uh, AC square feet, 6,700. Year built, 2010, six beds, six baths. Very cool. Uh, primary view ocean, secondary ocean. Let's open this bad boy up. Where are we at here? This is okay. We're right before Carencia. So let's open this up. This looks cool. Six beds. Oops. I don't want that. Very nice view. A little more modern style mixed in with the uh, Buddha head. All right. Cool modern style. You know, it depends what you like. I mean, the modern style is so sleek and clean. I do love it. I do love it. I love both. I mean, the Mexico style is cool. It makes you feel like Mexico, but the modern is so clean and classy. Ooh, that's nice. Yes, sir. Makes me want to throw a party. <laughs> Call up some ladies, throw a party. Uh, or if, if there's any girls listening, we can call up some guys and throw a party. Whatever's your pleasure, I don't care. All right, moving along. Yeah, I'm gonna stop this at 10 million because we're getting a little bit too long of a video and then I'll make a secondary video, I think. Um, come on, BK. Sunday. So yeah, this is Sunday, uh, October 9th, 2022. Okay. I think we are here. What's going on? Did I, I don't know if I mess something up here? Okay. Let's look at this here. Uh, Grand Villa Dulce. Villa Dulce, Dulce, four beds, 14,000 square feet. Are you kidding me? $5,950,000. Ooh, oh boy. All right, now we're balling. Let's go. This is cool. Oh, look at the pictures and we'll go back to everything. Wow, this is super cool. Yes, sir. I love when all the big open windows like that. I mean, if you're going to have a $6 million house, you better have a $6 million view. And this looks like it's got it. Very cool. What a stupid picture. I put that in there. I never understand that. <clears throat> Not the best pictures, I would. I mean, you, you, that's the picture right there. That's the one. Huh, very cool. Let's look at the details. 
think they could have had better pictures. Uh, located in Pedregal, of course, where all the very cool houses are located, completed. Uh, AC square feet, 8,500. Five baths, uh, four, oh, four bedrooms. Surprising um, for how big it is. Year built, 2017, contip contemporary style, super cool. All right, let's move along here. Get to the big money houses. I, it looks like I skipped over some prices, or there was a there was a uh, a dip. Maybe there wasn't anything in that price range, but um, looks like also Pedregal. I'm sure. Uh, Mich, uh, mansion de, de Cortes, Mansion de Cortes. In Spanish, eight beds, 17,500 square feet, total square feet. Let's go down to the general description. Nine million completed. Again, 17,500 square feet, total square feet, 10,000. Seven full baths, eight bedrooms, year built, 2005. Multiple levels. Three uh, garage stalls, three. Exclusive, one of a kind, luxurious estate finished in the highest quality with the Pacific Ocean view. Perched in the exclusive community of Pedregal. All right. Looks, looks cool. Looks like a Pedregal mansion for sure. Nine million bucks. Let's go. Okay, guys, I think we're going to show one more. Let's see here, and then I'll make another video for for the big big money stuff. All right, here we go. Ten million bucks, Rancho San Lucas, and this is ten million even. Four beds, total square feet eight thousand two hundred and eighty two. Oceanfront living never looks so good at the Norman Estate, a private oceanfront residential. Uh, enclave, enclave, within enclave, I don't know, within Rancho San Lucas, branded by the World Golf Hall of Famer and two-time major winner, Greg Norman. So this is out in uh, Rancho area with the Greg Norman Signature Golf Course. These are the, uh, he actually built a house out there for himself, or is building one rather. Again, pre-construction, total square feet, uh, 8,282, so kind of smaller for this price range. AC square feet, 4,667. Five full baths, four bedrooms, one half bath, uh, two garage stalls, oceanfront. I mean, much smaller, so I mean, I'm assuming, well, everybody knows the the Norman estates are, are super high end. Um, Let's scroll through the pictures and look here. Very cool. So again, you're a little you're a little bit further out of town, maybe 20 minutes. Um, you know, you've got your rancho, then you've got uh, the Amante, then you've got Quivira, and then you've you're in town, Pedregal on the other side. Looks nice. Not the best renders. You could do better. Well, they're, they're, I mean, the, the quality is nice, but we need to show perspective. Hmm. Cool. Looks cool, but again, give me... Give me better photos if you're trying to charge 10 million bucks. That's a little better. Well, I know these properties. I know they're they're nice. Um, we've got some other ones to check out, but that's giving you a, a nice idea of the market there. Um, I mean, we've got everything in Cabo, you know, uh, from, you know, you can go as low as 
you can get something from two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you know, all the way up to twenty. Let's look on this list here and just see what was the most expensive one that we'll show next time. But I don't remember. We need twenty twenty million bucks. So we'll look at some of those other ones next time. But um, yeah, man, there are some cool houses. I mean, again, I can get you guys, you know, you can get something really cool, you know, starting at a million bucks. So it really depends on your budget, what you're looking for. And um, yeah, yeah, everybody, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, anything that you need in Cabo, as always, message me. Brandon at Cabo Cribs.com, uh, YouTube, BK Cabo, Instagram, BK Cabo, uh, WhatsApp to US 360-442-9701. I can help you guys with anything you need in Cabo. I don't care if it's capital gains related. If you're looking to buy property, if you have a property and you want a good listing agent, this guy right here, I'm a, a very good listing agent. Been doing marketing my whole life. Um, been in real estate off and on my whole life as well can really um i'm good at selling properties i'm good at selling things it's, it's what i've been doing my whole life um not gonna say it. i ain't good at what i'm good at you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right guys um yeah anything you guys need message me and uh yeah hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and i will see you on the next one